Hi, this is Biraj, founder of Time Chart Project Management Software. Uh, today, let us look into the critical path. So, what is critical path? So, when we look into this network diagram, uh, critical path represents the longest sequence of activities in the network diagram. So, that means if we have got two or three different uh, sequence of activity that uh, leads to the finishing point, so we need to see which network diagram, which path takes the longest amount of time. Uh, so if we, if we try to see this first path, which is A, B, D, G and H. So the first path is taking 30 day, 32 days time. And then if we see the next path, which is A, C, E, G and H, this path takes about 22 days. And then if we see the last one, which is A, C, F and H, if we see this path, which is taking on the 18 days time. So that means a 32 being the longest, this represents a critical path. We will then do a forward pass and backward pass in, in our next video. There you will see uh, there is another definition of crit critical path is the slack or the free float is going to be equal to zero. How do we come up with slack or free float? Uh, keep watching our next video. Thank you.